Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Us, starring Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, and Elizabeth Moss, and directed by Jordan Peele. And happy belated Halloween, folks! I'm sorry I'm a little late for this one, but... But, um, let's just get straight into this. Before I do that, though, this is the director of... Get the motherfucker out of here, a.k.a. So I'm looking forward to talking about this movie with you guys. So let's get into this. We start at Santa Cruz in 1986 at a carnival where young Adelaide, Addie Wilson, comes with her parents and her mother goes to the bathroom while her father plays whack-a-mole and she takes off to a tunnel full of mirrors as she seems her own reflection as the lights go off and we cut to the opening credits with white rabbits and a very long shot and the music is freaky as hell and this opening sequence is good but not quite as good as get out i will admit adult addy played by lupita nyong'o and with her husband gabe played by winston too two of the actors from this movie when they arrive with their kids jason and zora go to gets to the cabin and they eat and cuss their asses off and honestly i like addy as because she's the vocal point of this movie as she has a tragic life and gabe makes me laugh and the cabin belongs to addy's parents and they both unfortunately are gone and these scenes remind me that they're d a dysfunctional family and that's good writing on Jordan Peele's part in storytelling wise. They're relaxed and going to Santa Cruz Beach and meet up with Kitty and Josh Tyler played by Elizabeth Moss and Tim Heidecker with their twin daughters Becca and Lindsay Tyler played by actual twins Kay Kaylee and Noel Sheldon, and I didn't mind Kitty, and, but Josh, Becca, and Lindsay are just fucking obnoxious, and I don't like these three at all. And Jordan Peele does a good job of the audience trying to like versus dislike these characters. Jason goes to the bathroom, and Addie is worried sick about him, as he finds a man with his with blood in his hands, and that didn't scare me as much as get out i mean i mean it was a little frightening but it wasn't that scary they're at the cabin and addy wants to leave because of the memories she had as a kid and it is freaked out by it and the next thing you know there's a family on their driveway of lookalikes of addy gabe zora and jason called red also played by lupita nyong'o abraham also played by winston duke Umbre, which is the daughter Zora, and Pluto, who's the Jason lookalike. And I love Pluto as he walks with four feet and he has body language. That's amazing to watch. Umbre looks fucking creepy. I mean, and Abraham is taken out rather too quickly. And Red sounds kind of freaky as they all have red clothes and hold scissors which is a freaky concept but the execution is not very but just a little bit weak i will say gabe take gets taken by abraham meanwhile zora runs for her life and umbre goes after her and jason shows pluto games a, a game where he plays in the closet and i guess addy and red have a staring contest some shit like that i'm not too sure what that was all about next thing you know kitty josh becca and Lindsay are attacked by their lookalikes dahlia is also played by elizabeth moss tex tim heidecker it, that's who that is and the twins are eo and nix as the nwa plays on the background as well as the beach boys which i found kind of hilarious that they play the nwa meaning i was cracking up as Kitty asks a machine to call the police and does the wrong thing as they play fuck the police as Addie, Gabe, Zora, and Jason arrive and kill the look-alike motherfuckers as the real Kitty, Josh, Becca, and Lindsay are dead already and hide in their house and see what's going on with the TV and they leave and drive with while Umbre is holding on to the car and heading towards Mexico 
and she falls off, and they lose the and they lose the look-alike, and all this is very R-rated intense. They drive into Mexico and run into their car and fire, and Pluto is underneath the car. They're driving, and Jason realizes it's a trap with gasoline on the ground, and Jason with Pluto walk backwards and dies sun and suddenly Red grabs him and puts him in the Hall of Mirrors, as we saw at the beginning at the beach. And Addie goes down there and tries to find Jason in a hall of, full of rabbits and goes into a classroom talking with Red as the camera is on her face in the background with Addie in the classroom, which is a great shot. By the way, meanwhile, Zora puts Gabe on the ambulance as we see a bunch of Red lookalikes forming a line and hold their hands, which does look pretty fucked up. Red explains what the fuck happened in the very first scene to Addie as a little girl. As it turns out, Addie is the one who was left in the Red lookalikes. And Red is was the one pretending to be Addie the whole time, which is a twist ending. I thought, what the fuck? So the two Lupita Nyong'o's swings at one another, uses the black ballet swan moves and it's over with one of them killing and the other and goes with the family as the movie ends with a bunch of lookalikes holding hands on a mountain which I thought was a fucked up ending in my mind now it's time for the rating I'll give this movie a 8.2 out of 10 not as good as Jordan Peele's Get Out but it's a satisfying movie with a fucked up ending and the score at times was freaky as hell I like some of these characters, but not at all. And Jordan Peele does a good job of us either being scared, twist endings, and a bunch of what-the-fuck moments. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this Halloween special. And happy Halloween. And until next time, get the motherfucker out of here.